Hey, welcome to Mar Mike's Garage. Today I've got a special video for you. We're actually out in front of Mar Mike's Garage and I'm going to talk about how to sell a lawnmower. Now I've bought and sold a lot of lawnmowers over the years and there's a few tricks of the trade. I just want to pass on down to the next generation of lawnmower salesmen out there. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some basic steps and what to look for and uh, what to do. Now let's first start with the lawnmower. What type of lawnmower are you going to sell? Rule number one, never sell a broke lawnmower. I mean, that's the biggest mistake. I mean, most lawnmowers are fixable besides, you know, some internal engine issues or maybe the transmission's out. 95% of things are fixable. Go to Motor Mike's channel. I fix all sorts of stuff. Uh, in reality, a broken riding lawnmower usually will go for 50 bucks, maybe the top end 150 these days for a premium model. Uh, it's always about a $500 Delta versus a fixed lawnmower. And usually that fix is just a little sweat equity. Uh, maybe $20, $30, maybe clean up the carb. So that's my first most important rule. Don't sell a broken lawnmower, all right? You buy broken ones, you sell fixed ones. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to the brand of lawnmower. Now I, I put lawnmowers in three basic categories. You've got your basic brands, let's say your MTVs, your bow, bow lawns, your Poulons, really the bottom of the barrel. Now typically a fixed one of those, you're looking at 350, 450, you know, that below that 500 range. Next you come up, let's go to like a mid-level lawnmower. Let's say, a, you know, maybe an early 2000 Craftsman, an older Cub Cadet. Usually those are in the five to $600 range. And then you get in the premium range. Uh, let's say like this John Deere here. Anything John Deere green, baby, she's gonna get an extra 20%. Hands down, people freak out over John Deere. So usually a John Deere will go, you know, 650 plus, depending on the size, all the way up to 950. Or newer Cub Cadets are great ones also. Uh, so, You've got your lawnmower, you're ready to sell it. Now, first, the most important part of selling a lawnmower online, of course, I've tried listing, putting some at the end of the driveway, they just don't get the traffic. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I think online's your best bet, and we're gonna go through the Facebook marketplace. But the first thing you gotta do is take pictures. Take pictures of the lawnmower. Now, you want pictures of the front, back, side, engine. I mean, just basics, nothing, nothing fancy, but there is a trick of the trade I'm gonna tell you. Now you want to clean your lawnmower, but before you take pictures, what you do is you take your, your water hose, you see this, and you just put it on mist. Put it on mist. Now that lawnmower is wet and shiny. That dang thing looks brand freaking new. That mist gets a little shine, a little glean on that, that plastic paint, whatever they do to paint it. And then you pop your pictures. Trust me, it looks like a brand new dang lawnmower. And then also your seat. Always have a seat cover or a new seat on there. Those are very visual effects. So go around and take your pictures. And now we're going to move on to the actual listing. I'm going to show you guys uh, how I list. Now I've used to sell on Craigslist quite a bit, which which worked fine. But you know, with the new age, uh, Facebook Marketplace is the place to be. It's just a lot safer. You can see who you're selling to, who you're buying from. Uh, it has a lot more traffic. You can join different groups, local groups, and, and post your lawnmower. Uh, especially this type of year. So now I'm gonna go through the basics of how do you set up that Facebook marketplace. So let's move on over to the pewter. Okay, now we're actually going to how I sell the lawnmower on Facebook marketplace. This is super easy. This is way better than Craigslist. It's a lot more interactive and easier to do. So, you, so Facebook marketplace is tied to your Facebook profile. Just click over on marketplace, start a new listing. It's super easy to do. Now, as far as building the listing, the most important part is gonna be your actual picture. So you can see here, I've got my picture, my main picture, I like a side profile pic. It really shows the curves and the shine of the lawnmower. You can see with that little spray on there, it looks really good. I mean, it looks better than new. Uh, then just click through to show you guys a few pictures of it. I just do a simple, you know, four or five picture profiles you know I always get the motor in there and then start with the the front so you can see the seat and everything so super easy now I start off my description just saying hey this is an awesome freaking lawnmower it's been gone through with all new parts and it works on my my lawn now that's important now if you're watching my channel and you're fixing lawnmowers let people know that you fixed it and then list below all the new stuff that you've actually fixed. You see in this one, I've done an extensive amount of work on it. New blades, new grass shoot, oil, spark plugs, air cleaner. Even if you just done maintenance on it, just go ahead and list that. And then down below, I just say, hey, I've been using my yard, works great. And, you know, I like to put the prices firm because you get a lot of low ballers coming in at you. Uh, so just list the prices firm. And if you want to lower it, 
go ahead and lower it. Just, you know, look at what other mowers are selling for on Facebook. And, you know, based on what I've told you before, put a price on it. After you sell your first one, you're gonna really start learning what the market is. Um, now also down here, I put on there, I will consider a discount for a working or non-working ATV or riding lawnmower. Essentially anything without a title. Now I put this on here because I've gotten some great deals where I'll give people a hundred bucks off. I've actually sold an LA-145 and at the same time as I was selling it, I picked up his broken LA-145, gave him a hundred bucks off and I got a whole nother lawnmower to sell. So it's just kind of a snowball effect if you can sell a lawnmower and at the same time pick up broken ones. I mean, that's the game there. You can't get any better than that. And I've done that several times. It's a really cool and it's a lot of fun. I usually only give them, you know, maybe a hundred bucks, 150 off for a lawnmower. And that way you're making money on this lawnmower and getting your next project. Next one, I put, I can help deliver local, which I don't charge for delivery as long as it's in my area within 20, 30 minutes. Cause you've got to realize a lot of homeowners, they don't have a way to transport a lawnmower and you sure don't want to load a riding lawnmower in the back of a pickup truck. It just does not work at all. And then I just say, Hey, thanks for looking. Now, this is how I do it. Just remember good pictures, uh, put down there how it runs and all the stuff you've replaced uh, that you'll trade, possibly give a discount if you're interested in another project and that you can help deliver. So let's see how this sucker sells and I'm gonna get back at you and let you know how the market's going. Hey Carl, that check clear? We're good to go in the bank? <laughs> hey man, we're making that mower money, man. Make it rain. Hell yeah, I'll give you 10 bucks this week. That's your paycheck. All right, what do you ever make, man? What's A&M? You had low expectations, brother. All right, I tell you guys what, that LA John Deere L145 that I put all my sweat and heart in and videos, it's out of here. I tell you what, that thing sold like a hot donut outside of a Jenny Craig weigh-in. I mean, these people were fighting for it. I sold it in two or three days right off the marketplace, had the listing. I think the fact that I was able to deliver it, I delivered it out to a nice new couple. Shout out to Nate, you know, one of those uh, California transplants here in Texas, spending their money, man. I'll take some of that California money. I ain't scared. I like them all. So let me tell you about the market for mowers right now. It is hot. It's red hot. That mower, I sold the same day mower last year. I struggled to get 750 for it. This year, thousand bucks, no questions asked. I'll tell you why. Because the government's printing money like Monopoly money. And shoot, there's no mowers in the store. Everything's backed up. Everything requires something from the Chinese government or whatever they're doing, but it's just empty. And the mowers are hot. Use mowers, I tell you what, and people need them. So if you got a used mower, fix it up, sell it. It's all good. So let's move on. I know you guys are a little scared. What is Mower Mike gonna do? How is he gonna do? He's out of used mowers. Is Mower Mike out of used mowers? Damn right, Mower Mike is never out of used mowers. I buy used mowers as a hobby. I got more used mowers than a mow shop. I don't have any used mower jokes right now. But uh, check it out, man. I got a herd of John Deere's. I got this old Toro, got an old Snapper, got some push mowers, got some antique John Deere's. Tell you what, you guys leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to work on. We got colors, we got Briggs, we got Hondas, we got Snappers, we got everything you want. So leave me a comment if you guys got the special. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and encourage you to get out there. And if you got old mowers, people need it. So get out there and list them, sell them. And uh, please subscribe and we'll have some more mower fun. Mower Mike out.